Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Bob, CEO and founder of Crypto Icon Media and you are watching Crypto Icon, a show where I talk about everything around crypto, web3 and blockchain technology. So today we will take a look at some of major crypto news and some hot updates, but please note that I'm not a financial advisor. It is just for information and entertainment purpose. So let's go for it. But before that, I'm just going to talk talk about current market price. So today's cryptocurrency price by market cap, the global crypto market cap is $1.20 trillion, which is 1.62% decrease over the last day. The total crypto market volume over the last 24 hours is $50.46 billion, which makes a 11.57% decrease. The total volume in DeFi is currently $3.73 billion, which is 7.39% of the total crypto market 24 hour volume. The volume of all stable coin is now $45.74 billion, which is 90.64% of the total crypto market 24 hour volume. Bitcoin dominance is currently 45.81%, a decrease of 0.38% over the day. And today, today's Bitcoin price is $28,823. Ethereum price is $1,969. BNB price is $326. Okay, so let's go for the today's story. Okay. So first story is coming up from dailyhodl.com. So I would like to give this credit to the dailyhodl.com. And the story says MetaMask says recent hacking of Ethereum wallets has nothing to do with its wallet software. Prominent crypto wallet MetaMask is addressing recent report of Ethereum wallets being hacked for million of dollars saying that the attackers are not related to weaknesses in um, the company's software. Earlier this week, Taylor Monahan, CEO of Ethereum, focused a wallet my crypto said in a lengthy thread uh, that she had uncovered a massive wallet draining operation which saw 5,000 ETH uh, she found across 11 different uh, chains since December 2022. According to Monahan, the hacks are targeting large wallet belonging to OG Ethereum holders who likely uh, practice high level of security. For the past 48 hours, I have been uh, unwinding a massive wallet draining operation. I don't know how big it is, but since December 2022, it's drained 5,000 ETH and it in token NFTs, non-fungible, I mean, it says non-fungible tokens. Uh, coins across 11 chains <clears throat> this is not a low borrow phishing site or a random scammer it has not wrecked a single noob it only wrecked ogs let's go for the second story <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, second story is coming up from blockbox.co. So I would like to give this credit to blockbox.co. And the story says Russia moving forward with crypto international settlement experiment. Despite Russia Russia ban on crypto payments within the country, it is reportedly looking to test the use of such asset for dealing with foreign entities, a local news agency reports. The Central Bank of Russia is reportedly working on a way to use crypto for international settlements despite the country's uh, striking broader stains on such asset. Alvira, head of Russia, Central Bank said it would create a special organization that could m mine crypto and use it to settle payment with foreign entities, Russian news agency TASS reported Monday organization affiliated with the state would be able to use crypto for such settlement initially central bank deputy chairman alexei told the told the russia news outlet private companies may be allowed to do so in the future he added russia finance ministry said uh, in february 2022 crypto should not be uh, granted currency status a suggestion include in a a drafted law presented to the country parliament at the time. Russian President Vladimir Putin assigned a bill in July designed to bluster the existing ban on 
crypto as a method of payment to payments for goods and services in Russia. And let's go for the third story. Okay, so third story is coming up from Cointelegraph.com. So I would like to give this credit to Coin. Uh, Cointelegraph.com and the story says Coinbase gets Bermuda license offshore exchange could launch next week. It's reported that the United States based crypto exchange is planning to quickly launch a derivatives exchange based in the island nation. United States based uh, cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase has received a license to operate in Bermuda and it's reportedly set to launch a derivative exchange based there as soon as next week according to an april 19th blog post coinbase revealed it had received a regulatory license to operate from the bermuda uh, monetary authority the nation's financial regulators the license a class f license under the digital asset business art allow coinbase to conduct a range of activities such as token sales and issuance it also permit, permits it to operate as both a digital asset exchange and as a digital asset derivative exchange provider. An April 19 report from Forbes citing a person close to the company claimed Coinbase is planning to launch a derivative exchange in Bermuda as soon as next week. Let's go for the last story. Okay. So this story is coming up from uh, coinslate.com so i would like to give this credit to coinslate.com and the story says tesla kept 184 million dollar bitcoin balance in uh, quarter one 2023 the electric vehicle company did not gain or lose uh, value on its digital asset tesla quarter one uh, earnings show that uh, it maintained a consistent Bitcoin balance in the first quarter of the year. The company's April 19 release shows it held $184 million of digital asset in quarter 1, 2023, as it did in quarter 4, 2022. Though the price of Bitcoin has fluctuated in recent months, Tesla according method suggests that the company's holding did not gain or lose value overall. Tesla initially purchased 1.5 billion dollar of bitcoin in february 2021 and its holding at one point were worth 2.5 billion dollar however the company sold about three quarter of the amount of amount in the second quarter of 2022 in quarter two and quarter three tesla held 218 million dollar of bitcoin before losing some of the value due to volatile as well as its own sales. The company's uh, inconsistent relationship with cryptocurrency is well known. Though Tesla briefly accepted Bitcoin as payment, it abandoned this due to the environment impact of crypto mining. Tesla now accepts Dogecoin for, for some merchandise. And guys this is the end of the story today if you like the content of this video please give me a thumbs up and press the subscribe button also press the notification bell icon so you will receive more content like this every day and don't forget to check out our official link of major crypto platform in the description of this video and i would love to hear your feedback and suggestions so do comment your thoughts below and please share this video with your friends on social media facebook twitter and instagram at bob ashish and also at crypto icon media to learn more about a company let me talk about what exactly we do. Crypto Icon Media is a full-service interactive crypto media agency, digital marketing, social media, and branding. And guys, if you are listening to this content on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or any other podcast platform, then do hop on our YouTube channel for the real action. And guys, if you want to get 100 USDT, so get world biggest crypto exchange Binance and deposit more than $50 into your Binance account, and we will both get 100 USDT as a cashback voucher. Thank you once again. Have a great day. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and please support us. Thank you. Catch you soon.